Members of the Broke Boys Club, what's good, man? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series. Now jumping into number 12 here of our Broke Adventures. And man, have we been busy on this account. We've got a lot of things going on in today's episode. For starters, we're level 38. We've got an abundance of tokens, which we're actually gonna get to spend in today's episode. Y'all can see I'm sitting on 59,000 MT. I actually had more, but y'all can see on my lineup here, we've got a new addition, Pink Diamond Luke Walton. I told y'all he was gonna drop in price, and I'm not sure what price he's going for right now but I ended up getting a bit snipe on him as you can see right here for 23,000 MT so I was super excited about that on top of that I ended up picking up this guy for XP because uh I'm not too sure if I want to go ahead and collect those galaxy opals like I mentioned in the last episode what I think I'm gonna do since all the opals are stupidly expensive especially that Ben Wallace from today is I'm gonna hold on to De'Aaron Fox because I think when the lock-in is officially available he's gonna go up in price so I'm going to invest in this De'Aaron Fox with hopes that he goes up in MT. But uh, like I told you guys, we're now going to have tokens to spend on. We got to take a look at some new packs. And I also managed to land the locker code. For those of you guys that follow my Discord and were tuned in, 2K dropped a locker code this weekend for a guaranteed Galaxy Opal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all can see right here, it is going to be unauctionable, but the fact that it's free is amazing. Also ended up doing the new balance challenge just so I could get it out of the way. It was a game to 21, gave me diamond shoes and boosts. Honestly, I'm probably going to be using boosts on more of my players just because as a budget player, those end up being big time. Played a bit of triple threat, landed on a stellar pack. If we can get James Harden or Ben Simmons or whoever out of there, that would be lovely. We also got the bracket busters because I ended up grinding that. We got the moments of the week off option pack and that's kind of where all my tokens came from ended up finishing that off i realized you get two picks out of this so again opportunities for us to make mt in the future and then i also got the other bracket buster player and then for hitting level 38 we got two more hall of fame badges here on the way now on top of that we did get a new bracket buster and for those of you guys that don't know these have honestly been worth grinding especially because now these bracket buster players are no longer diamonds they're pink diamond cards and all of them so far have just been so solid can't lie to you guys, this one's pretty easy and we're probably gonna get it done today. Win four triple threat games by nine points or more. So that means you're really gonna have to lock up on defense, but I think we can get it done. Now, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, man. Y'all know we're on that grind to 500K. The growth recently is back on that momentum. So thank you guys for that. And if we get 2000 likes on this video, I got y'all with the next episode as soon as possible. But let's get to opening these packs because this right here is something I've been super excited about. Now I've seen it be as bad is Galaxy Opal JR Smith like I got on my main account. And I've seen some people get Galaxy Opal Yao Ming. Let me know in the comments for those of you guys that got the locker code, what you ended up pulling. And if you wanna make sure you're tuned into all the locker codes, follow my Discord, link is in the description. Let's go ahead, let's flip this bad boy over. What's coming our way? Oh, that's not Yao Ming, who is that? Western Conference, he's a shooting guard. Number five from the Nuggets. Oh, this is who I got on my main account as well. So this is not necessarily a bad thing because now I can technically sell my DeMar DeRozan and not feel a ba bad about it. Because the thing is, J.R. Smith is still a walking bucket. He's got some very solid animations and I'm not a mad about that. So DeMar DeRozan, he's now gonna have to go. And one thing I was actually wanting to do in this episode is, I think we're also gonna sell our Rudy Gay. Oh, this is all diamonds. That's a big dub. See, this is why I do the challenges. This one literally took me three minutes and I'm getting a shoe with a bunch of boosts. So now, if I wanna boost up some free no money spent card that I get in the future, I can do so with ease. All right, Stellar Pack, what you got for me today, man? No money spent vibes are immaculate today and you had to go ahead and bring it down. The crazy thing is these Stellar Packs had like a 20% chance at a Galaxy Opal coming out of them, which is just nuts, but it is what it is. Now we're gonna get to these Bracket Buster players. I'm gonna tell y'all who's the better option in my opinion and when it comes to this one it's between parks and corliss williamson now corliss williamson definitely not a bad card he's six seven got some decent stats but when you look at cherokee parks here i have no idea what his jumper is like but his frame is nuts six foot eleven he's got a seven foot three wingspan 86 three ball driving dunk defense is amazing rebounding is solid the speed is not too shabby so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our chance with him even though there's gonna be more no money spent cards coming our way like this bracket buster event is probably one of my favorite things to happen in my team not just as a no money spent player but in general as a whole now when you look at these two guys 
it's actually kind of deceiving because this guy gives me the Sean Bradley vibe. Six foot 11, he's also got an insane wingspan. You see that three ball, you look at him top to bottom and you're like, wow, this card is solid aside from his 80 speed. But here's the thing, Doliak here, if that's how you say his name, has one of the worst jumpers in the game. I have no idea what Nazir Mohammed here is like, but I can tell you one thing, he's gonna be better than Doliak. Plus, he's a 96 overall pink diamond, man. Like I said, the pink diamonds are starting to fly out now. Let's take a look at the moments of the week, and we get to pick two cards. Obviously, we don't need the centerpiece, so we're gonna walk away with Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher and Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher. I like it. Last but not least here, as we close in on level 40, ooh, okay. Okay, I'm seeing badges that have potential MT making possibilities. Now, number one, I'm probably thinking Agent 3. Because I think more cards are going to get Clamp Breaker. And y'all can see I already own it anyways. I'm trying to hold on to as many as possible. And I honestly think Interceptor. Yeah, those are the two badges we're going for. I debated going for Green Machine because not too many cards have that either. But... Yeah, man, let's take a look at the collection of our badges. I'm not sure how many Hall of Famers we have at this point. Holy shit, shit, shit. When did I collect all these? <laughs> I, I honestly had to take a look at my accounts again because I was like, wait, am I on the main account? We've really been collecting badges as we've been grinding. Damn, I didn't even know I had that Hall of Fame limitless. I knew something was interesting once I saw my Hall of Fame clamp breaker. What did we get it from? I think it was from an event earlier this season or was it the previous season? Either way, y'all can see we have been collecting. So the vibes are definitely nice there. And then when we go ahead and take a look at the brand new content, new edition, we're getting closer to that lock-in. Dark Matter Clyde Drexler, Galaxy Opal Ben Wallace, who is uh, looking like he's gonna be the gatekeeper for the Opal set because I wasn't able to pull him once on my main account with over a hundred dollars. Yeah. And he's going for over 100k. So for those of y'all trying to lock in the Galaxy Opal, good luck. You'll have to buy my De'Aaron Fox. But um, as we keep going, the pink diamond is going to be Marcus Smart. He looks like he's going to be very affordable. As well as the diamond, which is going to be Tristan Thompson, who apparently might be getting signed to the Lakers. Either way, I'm just going to go ahead and buy these guys and get it out of the way. Okay, so the cheapest Tristan Thompson is more than I thought. 6400 He's probably going to go down in MT, but I'm just going to go ahead and play it safe. Marcus Smart for 10600 Not too shabby. That's like what? A couple thousand more than the Tristan Thompson so that's pretty good now y'all can see we sold that duplicate Danny Manning I also ended up selling my Matisse Tybal and bro I gotta stop putting things up for bids because now I'm starting to get scammed 2,000 for a card I spent like 7k MT for that low-key hurts a little bit if I was poor which I technically still am I'd be bothered by that now one person I'm looking to say goodbye to or I guess two people we're gonna be saying goodbye to in our episode is gonna be DeMar DeRozan and likely this Rudy Gate as well. Here's the thing, I have TJ Warren and I'm gonna be keeping him because I'm likely going to be locking it in depending on how the reward is. But here's the thing, look at this Rudy Gate. Come take a look at how much MT this man is going for now. 60,000 MT is the cheapest Rudy Gate. Listen, do y'all remember how we bought DeRozan for 27,000 MT? The cheapest one is now 40,000 MT. We're about to get a return on investment looking beautiful, man. Rudy Gay's going for 60. This guy's going for 40. I had 100K MT in my starting lineup and I just had no idea. So DeRozan, you've been great for us. And it's not to say that you're not better than JR Smith, but JR Smith is free and I can't sell him anyway. So we'll put him up for 39.5. Hopefully that sells right away. I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go, man. How much is Scotty Barnes going for is the question because I will sell this Luke Walton so quick. Okay, so Luke Walton selling for 27k MT and Scotty Barnes is going for 72,000 MT. I think it's time. All right, man. So while we wait for some of our things to sell here, I'm going to get that triple threat stuff out of the way. Hopefully we can open the vault and still get this Purvis Ellison. This is the lineup I'm rocking. Diamond Devin Booker is just so easy to fly through games with. Now we got to remember we have to win by nine. So I got to play defense. At the end of the day, threes are always better than twos, and Devin Booker's jumper just makes it so easy for that. Why win by nine when you can win by 17? Devin Booker, I love that card. Come on, Vault, don't do me dirty. Let's start on a high note. Oh, let's pull from a little further out just for show, and Devin Booker is him. Come on, man. Hey, hey, you know what? 1200 MT, I'll take it. Come on. Come on. Yup, back to back openings, and that's the only thing I didn't want. The tokens! Oh, that reminds me, we're gonna be spending our tokens right after this game. And uh, for this last game here, we're actually gonna 21 0 this computer team. 
damn. Can we go three for three? Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that was gonna get too lucky. We barely get it to open as it is, but uh, yeah, just like that, that's done. That's that bracket buster secured. And it looks like one of our auctions sold. All three of them did. DeMar DeRozan selling for 12K more than we bought him like a couple weeks ago is insane. Like cards this year can really hold down value. And now I've got 163,000 MT, man. But before we even open this bracket buster, like I told y'all guys, we're gonna be spending our tokens. Finally, it has value because as you guys can see, they've added a new Galaxy Opal Julius Randle, a pink Diamond Torian Prince, cause he went eight for eight from three. It was crazy. And a pink Diamond Austin Reeves. Now I'm not sure how good these cards are but i'm buying all three of them because what else am i gonna do with my tokens anyways i know this julius randall he's probably gonna be solid i wonder if he's similar to his all-star card bro went crazy and dropped 57 points in a game i thought he was gonna break Melo's record but i guess that's not the case torian prince i thought this card was gonna be point guard eligible because that's what he was playing yesterday but i guess 2k still wants balance somehow even though we got taco fall at power forward i just i don't get it yes sir going eight for eight from three is crazy though i can't lie pink diamond austin reeves hopefully this card's a bucket i know he's like six six now we get to our bracket busters so there's a pink diamond jared jack honestly this one's not gonna be too special six three point guard and it's not even the fact that he's six three he has no driving dunk if you cannot dunk at the basket in the game this year you're getting blocked damn near every time his defense is cool but it's nothing special you look at charlie villanueva here though 611 he's also got an insane wingspan like a lot of these power forwards we've been getting in these bracket busters and look at the three ball the mid-range the driving dunk the defense the ball handle the rebounding the speed i mean he's a raptor on top of all that too i gotta pick him up all right so to start we've got this galaxy opal julius randall now his jumper i think it's fairly smooth it's obviously not the fastest it's not the most glitchy but for a power forward off that catch and shoot especially in the corner it's definitely gonna be nice one more yeah, he's gonna be solid. That might be my new starting power forward. So right here, we've got Nazir Mohammed. He is a 6'10 center. I'm not the biggest fan of that jumper. I don't even know where to release that. Okay, so that's our first grade. He's got like a 78 three ball. So I don't know how reliable he's gonna be, but uh, yeah, going back to Julius Randle, the only reason I wouldn't want to start him is because he's only 6'8 at the four. People can definitely abuse that, but Nazir's got an insane build. I will say that. I'm assuming this Marcus Smart is pretty much gonna be a baby Gary Payton. Oh, that jumper is valid. Hold on, if he's defending and hitting shots like this, he's gonna be a problem. Obviously, you know, I still wanna look into picking up Scotty Barnes, but nah, Marcus Smart is looking smooth. He's 6'4 too, so the exact same height as Gary Payton. Gary Payton is probably gonna drop in price after today. Up next, we got Cherokee Parks here. Oh, hold on. That jumper's fast. This is giving me a heavy Kevin Love pick and pop vibe right here. Look at that. The catch and shoot is insane. Look at how tall he looks. He's apparently listed at six foot 11. This man looks at least seven foot one. See, this is the reason why someone like Julius Randle is probably gonna come off the bench for me because when you have someone like this, who's got a faster jumper, who's taller, is gonna be a better defender. The only thing is Julius is probably gonna be more athletic this is when you want to grind out for all these free cards. Then we've got Charlie Villanueva here and you guys... <laughs> nah, why are all these power forwards juiced? They really dropped Julius Randle with this guy today. I'm sorry, Julius is great and all, but look at this, guys. Does he have the leaner that matters? Yes, he does, the normal leaner. He's also 6'11". I can probably play one of these guys as a small ball center and it would work. Because look at this. That's crazy. AR-15. He's got a solid jumper. It's kind of giving me a Kevin Herter vibe. That's kind of what it looks like. It's got a fast flick, but it looks easy to contest because of him kind of releasing it low. Oh, that's a nice jumper, though. He might be my shooting guard off the bench. It might be time for Corey Brewer to go. I know Corey Brewer is 6'9", but look at that. Reeves just kind of moves a little bit better. Does he have a driving dunk? Indeed, he does. He gets a little flashy with it. Yeah. We picked up some good cards. All that's left now is the final puzzle piece, AKA Scotty Barnes for 71,000 MT. Do I want to take that gamble? Of course. I'm not going to say this is a responsible purchase to be honest. So if you guys don't want to buy him, don't do it for your no money spent. But not only is he amazing, but he's one of my favorite players in the league. So for that reason, he's just going to be on my squad for a while. Plus when you're six foot eight and you can play point guard, it's going to be a big deal. Now for the sake of today's video and showing off some of the newer cards, 
I'm going to start Marcus Smart because I really want to see what he's all about. J.R. Smith, I'm not completely sure on you. You've got a nice jumper, you're athletic and stuff like that. But with the empty that we have, depending on what content comes out this Friday, we've got a new shooting guard we've eventually got to pick up. I'm overall very happy with my team. I got Julius Randle and Scotty Barnes coming off the bench with AR-15, Larry Kennan, and Willie Cauley-Stein. I mean... My team is looking pretty valid right now. But ladies and gentlemen, it is now that time. We're going to jump into a My Team game whenever we find a match here and see what this new roster is really about. I'm probably going to have to give people some diamond shoes. Sangoon, Billy Knight, Mike Bantam, Taco Fall, and Chris Stapps Porzingis. Yeah, we should have started Scotty. I can tell you right now, this is not going to go well. See what Marcus Smart can do here. All the way to the basket first. Stupid. Bucket of the night almost dunks on Taco Fall. Mark Eaton with a recovery dunk though. And here we go. I, I don't think we're winning this game. Look at us, we're spiking like crazy. His main offense is gonna be in the paint. I'd rather him shoot those threes all day than stay in the paint, but Mark Eaton, you've gotta out-rebound Taco. That's one thing I need you to do. Give me a screen right here. Charlie, that's an easy dime. His jumper's too fast. You actually need to keep a body on him. Give me that. Yes, sir, Mark Eaton. That's the defense I'm talking about. Stopping. Oh, JR, you should have kept cutting to the basket. All good, though. We got the blow by. Pass it inside. Pump fake. He's in the air. He's in the air again. Give me the two. Good defense. Good defense. Good defense. Force him out of the ball. Oh, that's crazy. Look, JR Smith just got injured. Get that rebound, boys. Yo, we are getting killed on the rebounds by literally all their players. It's not even their bigs. I got to keep jumping here. He gets another open three there. That goes down, and uh, things are looking bad pretty quick here. Honestly, kind of glad we're playing a team like this to start, though. It's a good lesson. All the way. Pump fake. Mark Eaton. Got him. Let's go. Let's go, Eaton. So I got to get Eaton off the floor at the same time because he's just camping Taco and Porzingis in the paint. Give me that. Good defense. Got to grab the ball. Now, who's running with me is the question. Let's go to Jamal. Charlie, you got to be out there at the three-point line next time, but you know what? I like the runs. Keep running. TJ Warren, that's a good cut to the basket. That's got to be an and one, but I'm going to let it slide. It's just crazy seeing me play a literal god squad, and he's got the algo. Looking to make some noise here in this second quarter. Hit that screen. There we go. Kali Stein on the pick and roll, forcing the switch, so we've got that automatic dunk. The stops are going to be the problem here, and the rebounding. We kicking it out to. Boom. Pump fake. Swing. Kali Stein, I know you've got that three in you. The one card I'm so glad I gave a three-point shoe every time. There we go. Hit that screen. All the way to the basket. That's you, Jamal Crawford. Go ahead and put it down. Not sure why Charlie was cut cutting to the basket there. That's kind of what messes up the offense. Good defense. Good defense. Got to jump with that. Good. <laughs> Bro, Kali Stein plays D. Get that rebound here, boys. Like, we're really just doing our thing. We just got to, you know, get our buckets in transition and, you know, space the floor. This is not what I call spacing the floor. All the way down the middle, Jamal Crawford finds a lane, and that's a dunk. So now that he's got those giants off the floor, I can maybe hold my own. I still continue to get killed on the boards. And it's just that whole R2 run at the rim and get the dunk animation. Ooh, Magic Johnson's going to be a problem. Right down the middle. Yup, Charlie, that's you for three. Bang! Give me that. Oh, it's got to be there. Good defense there. Oh, we, we, were, we were gonna miss that rebound, but I got the block. Larry Cannon, can I get you on a backdoor cut? Indeed I can. We get the dunk right there. If he's gonna use it, I'm going to too. We've got this Parks guy here on the floor as well. Gonna see what he can do. I know Kali Stein be playing defense though. Good defense, good defense. We there. Good defense there. Run. Okay, then we'll go here first. Then dot it to the corner. Dimes, that's finally yeah, the yeah. foul I deserve. I was baiting that so hard. These free throws are gonna be big going into the second half. Y'all see the team he has. If we beat this team with a team that we have, especially after JR Smith got injured and Jamal Crawford is having to carry a shooting guard, boy, I am going to talk. But uh, let's convert this third one. That's gonna go down. Good defense, good defense. Get down the floor, he's gonna reach at somebody. There we go, Dot. Park's first jumper, and it's going down. That man is Kevin Love 2.0 with a better frame. Snatch back. There we go. We gone. Oh, yeah. Right to Park's. That's a mid-range, but you know what? It's a bucket, and that's all that matters right now. Seven-point game. Crawford. Yes, sir. Right back inside to Kali Stein. That's an easy two. I low-key thought Julius was going to get a blocking animation. Get the steal. Yes! We disrupted the pass. Let's go. I forgot he had Taco fall in all these guys on their team. Yes, three seconds. 
I might have to get Mark Eaton back on the floor. I'm gonna do something different though. I got Charlie Villanueva at the five. I'm gonna make his bigs run. Give me a screen here. Hit that screen, yes sir. All the way to the basket. Charlie Dimes, bang! Okay, he's holding it down at center. If we get mashed, I'm okay giving up twos. I can get twos, just not threes. Jamal, that's your fault. You gotta close out better than that. Ending with a bucket here would be crucial. Charlie, all the way through. Hey! All right, let's not give up a bucket. Six point game going into the fourth would be big. Give me that, good defense. One second, he fouled me, let's go. <laughs> it's a shooting foul. I tried to launch the ball right away. Oh my goodness, this might be the biggest possession of the night. Please say you have a good free throw. Yes, he does, let's go. First one's going down. This Parks guy, man. He's phenomenal. He could honestly be a, be a good stretch center because he's not that agile on defense, but he can rebound. He's 6'11". He's got an insane frame. Come on. In the fourth quarter now, and it's pretty much all about slowing the game down at this point. Charlie, oh, I could have had that, but I'm going to go for the two. He kind of caught it funny, but the fact that he's getting that open for three with the kind of jumper that he has is nuts. Get there. Good defense. Good defense. There's no way he timed that. I knew I threw him off, and he's going to get a guaranteed two because, uh... Yeah, the king of offensive rebounds is on the floor. Now we see how much Taco can move. Hit that screen. Yes, sir. All the way through. There was no defense being played there. I'm assuming he switched to the wrong guy. Get there. Oh, I'm definitely late. And he just hit the biggest three of the night. Just like that, we're losing. Y'all see how crazy... Scotty, you got to space the floor. Come on, Charlie. I need you right now. Beautiful standing dunk. Let's go. Two-point game. We need one stop. Do not give up a three, please. He's going to mash me with Taco. Get there, get there, good defense. There's no way that goes down. Get the rebound and this is over. Throw it on the break. Kali Stein, yes sir, hey! Four point game with 20 seconds to go. This right here is gonna be the icing on the cake. I think I remember Crawford's free throw. I made him the free throw shooter on purpose. Look at how he came through as the shooting guard when J.R. Smith got injured. 13 points and 10 assists. I love this card. That should have been a stop, but whatever. I just beat a starting lineup of Sangoon, Billy Knight, Mike Bantam, Porzingis, and Taco Fall. With a budget team. With my starting shooting guard injured after selling DeRozan and Rudy Gay. <laughs> Scotty Barnes, welcome to the team. Look at this new addition to the team, man. 21 points, two rebounds, an assist, and a steal. Kali Stein went crazy. Jamal Crawford did not miss a shot tonight. And honestly, everyone as a team just contributed. I know Scotty in all 20 minutes only had three points. But here's the thing, there was always a tall guard on me. Couldn't really take advantage of that. And once he got tired, he was really just on the floor to play defense. But look at Jamal Crawford, man. Just when I think I'm really done with this card, I'm so glad he's in my reserves. It's just, this is awesome. There's just no way that I didn't earn Purvis Ellis in there, right? Okay, 500 MT, not even the 1200. Oh man, we're just never gonna get any of these RNG players, are we? Just, I'm not even gonna try for them. If it happens, it happens. We're also at the halfway mark for this Galaxy Opal Glenn Rice. Hopefully he ends up being a bucket because uh, day by day 2K is dropping crazier and crazier cards. But as you guys can see, man, our collection is going well. I really hope these players end up being insane. I'm still debating trying to get these Galaxy Opals, whether it's sniping them in the next episode or what, because locking in for Dark Matter on the no money spent would be cool. We still do not have one on our team, but hey, we're sitting on a good amount of MT. So overall, I'm happy with my team, but I've got a dilemma again. My bigs are very very solid my forwards not so much rudy gay was so good on this team but the thing is for 60k mt you simply had to take that i'm still not sure if i want to stay completely attached to scotty barnes but for what he does defensively i mean he is just perfect on this team what i need is a very solidified shooting guard and small forward which i know i just finished selling but i'm not stressing about it too much because again we've got packs coming out this friday i'll decide from there kind of where i want to go with things but Man, this Charlie card is insane. This Cherokee parks on the pick and pop, also very insane. Probably looking to give this card a shoe, if I'm being honest, just to make him a bit more athletic as far as the speed goes. But what he does defensively is nice. He can't play center though. I looked at his interior stats and I had to remember that you don't want to make him a small ball center. If there's anyone you want to, it's going to be this Cherokee. He's got an insane build, good weight, very good stats on the interior. So if someone like Kali Stein isn't working out for you, which y'all have seen is damn near my favorite 
favorite card for the kind of blocks and shots he takes at the right times y'all let me know i didn't even debut this galaxy opal julius randall because i'm being honest he feels very similar to the all-star card and that's not really a bad thing but again it's six foot eight I was already getting killed on the rebounds and I had 6'11 guys on the floor. So it's just not something I can afford. His jumper's not fast enough. He's not tall enough. I'm sure he's athletic and he can move, but I've got my forwards and my guards to do that on my offense. So Julius Randle's still a very good card. I might find time where being a small ball power forward is going to work out. But as of right now, this boy Cherokee Parks and Charlie are it. TJ Warren's also not too bad, but he's also nothing really special either. He's really more just, you know, a collector piece for the eventual galaxy opal that we're gonna get larry cannon continues to be insane on defense and honestly i'm just excited for whatever bracket buster cards continue to come out moving forward because they have been solidly insane cards that not just play on budget teams but really could play on any team so by next episode you'll probably see this guy with a shoe and maybe other guys probably scotty barnes as well marcus smart wasn't too bad on defense but that team had way too much height for him to stay on the floor and uh yeah man that's gonna do it for today if y'all enjoyed the episode don't forget to leave a like for you new viewers sub up on that grind to 500k appreciate y'all as always have a nice day and take care